everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we're going to show you how to set up and also turn on and off a Wi-Fi hotspot on an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, so first of all, as a caveat, not every SIM card allows you to do this. So if you don't see the options I'm showing you, it might be that your SIM card, which is set by your cell phone provider, may not allow you to do a Wi-Fi hotspot. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, to set up the Wi-Fi hotspot, you want to go to settings. And you'll actually see it nowadays, it shows up here if it's available. If you don't see this here, it might not be available. So this basically goes to setting, turning it on and off and setting the password. So it's available here. Also, if you go to mobile data, you can also set it here. So personal hotspot. And if I click on it now, um, it's turned off and I have to allow people to join it. And then I have to set the password. This is the default. So the problem with this is it's too complicated to actually tell anyone. So you probably want to reset it to something simpler, uh, but not too simple, obviously. So anyway, once we've changed that, uh, you can also turn this on and off, which is to maximize compatibility. So if you have trouble connecting from like an older device, you might want to turn this on. Uh, but what that means is it'll actually probably be slower uh, because it won't use the fastest, most up-to-date uh, Wi-Fi protocols. Uh, but if you're only connecting to other like modern Apple products, especially, then definitely keep it off so that compatibility is less of an issue. Also keep in mind, besides doing a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can do a Bluetooth hotspot and you can also do a USB cable hotspot. So in other words, I've had this happen where I'm charging my phone from my laptop and because I have the hotspot enabled, it automatically also connects my computer through my phone just when it's plugged in um, without me telling it to. So keep that in mind. Like if you're running out of data, make sure that you turn off cellular or whatever before you, uh, that you turn off hotspots and probably cellular uh, before you actually plug in the physical cable because it might start using up your data. Anyway, so that's how you enable and disable it here. Uh, you also see it up here and that goes to the same menu. Um, and so in this case, I'm gonna turn off that guy so that's how it's set up. You can also do some shortcuts to enable and disable it. So if I pull down and I see this menu here, this is to turn on and off Wi-Fi for the phone. This is to turn on and off cellular for the phone. So if I turn this guy off, it actually can't do a Wi-Fi hotspot because it's not connected to cellular. But there's a sub menu in here. If I click and hold, um, now I can make my hotspot discoverable. Um, so the problem is, what is it showing up in someone else's phone? I forgot to mention, actually, if you go back out here um, and you're looking at your personal hotspot, it actually mentions it. It says that your phone will show up as iPhone because I didn't change the name. If you want to go and change the name, you actually have to go to general and then about. And now I can change the name of my phone. So I'm going to say this is like Howtex. And so now when I go to my hotspot again, it says it will show up as Howtex iPhone. So the person can find that and then use this password, hopefully a simpler one. And so now allow others to join is to turn it on and off totally. And then the one up here is discoverable. So that's slightly different. So discoverable means like I'll, it'll show up in my Wi-Fi list at all if I'm you know, a stranger. Uh, so it's discoverable. Whereas this one is like if the person has connected to you before and they already know the password, they don't need to discover it, they need to be able to join it. So that basically turns it off completely so no one else can use it, even if they are already like uh, authenticated. So anyway, that's basically how you set up and enable and disable a Wi-Fi hotspot on an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye. Everyone, welcome back to Howtex. Today I have a deep purple iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to insert and remove a physical SIM. So before we start...